Patrick Lang, Business Modification Group. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I want to do a quick video today, and it's something that doesn't get talked about a lot in the industry. And from a buyer and seller perspective, you may not even hear about it, and that's co-brokering. And uh, in the industry, there's kind of some back and forth. Some brokers believe in it, others don't believe in it. I'm, I happen to be a fan of it. So what bro co-brokering is, is similar to in real estate. You sell your house, oftentimes a different realtor will bring the buyer. And so those brokers agree to work together on the sale of the home. Same thing can happen in business brokerage and selling your business. Some brokers, for various reasons, won't co-broker. So if you come to me as a buyer and want me to go help you buy their listing, they won't deal with me and they won't allow me to participate. Now, oftentimes they'll say it's because of confidentiality or they don't think a lot of brokers know what they're doing and so it may not be very professional. And so they use that as the reason of not working with other brokers. I happen to believe in co-brokering. I think the more eyes that we can get on your business, the better chances we have to sell it and the better chance we have to sell it for what would be market value. So buyer competition, I think, is a good thing. I believe in it so much. When sellers come to me and work with me, I'll co-broke with a seller. If you bring a buyer to the table, I'll reduce their commission in half for working with a buyer that they brought to the table. Once again, my job, I believe, is for sellers primarily is to find them buyers. And however I can do that, whether that's through my marketing methods or working with other brokers or the seller themselves. So I believe in it. So if you're a buyer and you're wanting to work with a broker, you need to make sure that whatever deal you're looking at, they're willing to co-broke because you may not be able to have representation on your side. If you're a seller, I'd ask your broker, are they open to co-brokering? Do they let other brokers bring people to the table? There's thousands of business brokers around the country. And I think putting your business in front of those potentially thousands of brokers, as well as their potential thousands and tens of thousands of clients is a better thing for you. So as you're listing your business, whether it's with me or with somebody else or doing it on your own, make sure you understand who's gonna be able to have an opportunity to look at it and who's gonna be willing to work with. So I think it can help you in maximizing value and getting a deal done faster. Hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, give me a call, send me a note. Please like my page. Hope you have a fantastic day.